to things will educate you and will teach you math just listen in if you get bored of lesson plans this song will make you be a fan of arcs and chords will show you how to work these relationships out both can be drawn in a single plane will help you step up your math game Something that has a put in me where I'm a circle. They all form arcs of different kinds. We measure and the size. The first is minor, and you'll see it measures less than 180. You can name it by arc AC, and this one is 110 degrees. Next arc is major. Do you believe the measure passes 180? To name it, say arc ABC. This one is 250 degrees. Semicircles are perfect half. Always measure 180. Arc ABD is what you'll see when you figure out these shapes. A chord is a segment that has and points anywhere on the circle. They all form arcs, different kinds. Measure and the size. Next here comes a question of most are boring, but this one's what we call it addition of arcs. So by an exclamation mark, you add measures of adjacent arcs, and the sum is the measures of these two arcs. It may seem quite repetitive, but with math, we're just competitive. Stuff. We promise that it won't be tough Just a few more theorems left to go Then you'll step up your math flow Theorem 10.1 may save your grade If you learn that arcs may be the same But only if their corresponding central angles are congruent Do not fret another theorem says Incongruent circles minor arcs are congruent if and only if Corresponding chords are twins Don't get it wrong Degree measure and length are not at all the same The key concept will show you how To keep these two things in frame Don't forget that chords make shapes And scribe them on a single plane You can make parallelograms I'll show you in a diagram Now that your math flow is on point Go find measures of any point Once you go and ace your test You can think us cause our songs are 